Hi guys, it's Miles from MPD Time. How are you guys going? Today I'm just going to show you how I like to uh, move my bicycle chain correctly. So this is a drive chain that I've just cleaned. You want to have a drive chain which is the chain is clean and dry. So I've, I've cleaned this with um, degreaser just recently. I've got a rag here, taking off any extra muck and grease and and um, any water. A couple of things before I start. A lot of people think using WD-40 is a good way to um, to lube your bicycle chain. It definitely is not. Um, it's just for stopping squeaks and um, just sort of anything stiff or something like that. It doesn't. It's very thin, so. You know, it might get you by for a little bit, but if you went in a bit of a heavy shower, it'd be gone in a few minutes. It doesn't last very long. It's good for, it's good if you if you really don't have any um, other chain lube, go for it. But I much prefer to use something like this. So right here, I've got Finish Line Ceramic Wax Chain Lube for maximum cleanliness. There's different types of chain lube. Um, there is wet, which I've got here, and there is dry. And for the, the dry lube, that's more for summertime, riding through really dusty conditions, um, through sand. It keeps your bike cleaner, but you have to apply a lot more. On a mountain bike, I generally like to use a little bit more of a wet lube, and a road bike, a bit more of a, of, of a dry lube because on a road bike you're going through less puddles and everything like that so it doesn't have to be doesn't have to be so strong to stick on the chain right now it's winter time so I've got this chain loop here which I'm using on my mountain bike and because this is ceramic I like to put a little bit of it on my ro the road bike as well you need to make sure, as you see I've been doing here, is to shake the container. At the bottom of the container you've got all the good stuff here. I like to put a couple of um, sinkers or a few nuts or bolts, something heavy in the bottom there. And then I'm just going to come around here and just apply, just getting the right gear. Apply realistically just almost a drop to every chain pin there. You don't want to have too much, or else if you have too much, it's going to create more problems with more grit and crap and everything from the road building up. If you have put too much, so to figure out if you put too much on, just work the chain in like that, and you'll see if there's crap with this. You'll see soon if there was too much. If there is too much, then just lightly wipe it off with a rag. Some some chain lubes work as a as a, um, a lubricant plus a cleaner. So some of them require you after putting it on, you're going to spin the back, um, spin your cranks back for 30, 45 seconds just for it to to wear in and um, go in there, and then you rub the rest of it off. Um, I don't have that at the moment. I'm using I'm using this. There are quite a few different sort of forms of chain loops out there, so just be sure to read the instructions. Some some are a, um, are a chain loop and cleaner, and some aren't. So all of them are a different a different way of doing it. If you like the video, please um, like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, please please let us know. Remember, a clean bike is a happy bike. Hope you guys are well. See you later.